We have Tony Parkinson. He is uh, for the uh, for SMB. Actually, he's the director of SMB. Uh, so yes. we've. We're gonna get some good information here. I uh, he can. He Tony, can come on in. See. Tony, come on in. Oh, thank you very much. Slide behind Callie there. <laughs> All right. Live on TV. Okay. You are live. Tony, welcome. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> so, how are you enjoying the conference? Fantastic. Yeah. This is awesome. I'm saying, you know, we've got the customers here, which is which is awesome. We have our partners here. Um, and we have our, our own people here, so best of all three worlds. Uh, we've <laughs> also got our you know, partners here in terms of our channel partners as well as our, our, our key sponsors that we work with. Of course. So, you know, yeah. It's really that synergy that we have across um, and the way we do our business. Okay. So you know, our focus here is is to really listen to it from what our, cus what our customers want. Yeah. It is, and and uh, you know, our, our mantra is to be the trusted advisor for our customers, so it's really important that the only way you can do that is to to meet your customers and, and listen to them. Yeah. Do you have your S customers here? Do you have some of the smaller we, we customers here? We have some of the smaller, absolutely, some of the smaller customers here. And, and if you look at um, you know, our ecologic platforms, yeah. you know, a lot of those smaller customers, and I think we categorize them as smaller growing customers. Okay. You know, the entrepreneurial guys who, who, want to, who want to start off small and grow with Dell, so they're very aligned to you know, to what Dell does best is is being entrepreneur, help those small guys become the next the next uh, the <laughs> next uh, you know hosters or the next Twitters or the next <laughs> Facebooks, because you know they also uh, characterise a lot of um, you know storage usage, um, which is really critical for those customers as you know these mobile devices drive a lot of content. So you know we have our smaller customers there, we have our medium customers uh, here as well, um, and our partners who address those customers are also with us today as well. So talk a little bit about what your job entails, okay. and obviously you've kind of gotten into that just a little bit in terms of your customers, but yep. what drives your daily to-do <laughs> list, <laughs> if <Okay>. you will? <laughs> so so I've I got a great job at Dell, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, I've been uh, here with Dell for almost two years. Um, my charter is really to, to continue to build the infrastructure um, to sell our, our solutions to our customers globally. So the great thing is um, I'm 24 time zone, so you know we have uh, you know a lot of activities globally. So what practices can we share from the different countries globally? Okay. Um, also, our customer needs are different around the world. Of course. So you know it's certainly not a one one size fits all model, mm. um, and certainly you know the customer pain points are slightly different across the across the, the globe. You know, the great thing I have is I have a conduit of information coming in from you know, different touch points in the countries, mm -hmm. um, and we can assimilate that. And, and I think that one of the hallmarks of Dell is, you know, the time it takes for a customer in, in Germany to say, hey, you know, I've got this, this challenge, to get that back to um, the right people who can help solve that solution set is very short. Okay. So a pretty flat organization. Uh, which is always nice. So not a whole lot of bureaucracy to to wade through, um, and and you know I think that's also being one of the great things about working here is, and as you've seen, we're very open. Yeah. Uh, you know, I speak to the partners. We're very transparent. Um, we're we're you know, we're not uh, you know hiding any hidden agendas. Um, and we do have a strong strategy of taking a lot of the core assets that that we've acquired. Um, so my job entails um, really I'm a I, I see myself as a facilitator. Okay. Right, so I facilitate best practice sharing, um, information, um, but also feedback. So it's a two-way street. You know, we, we launch our products, and then after we launch them, then it's a continuous learning process on what do we need to do for the next generation of, of platforms and solutions. Yeah. What are the what are the new trends that we're seeing? You know, cloud is obviously a is a huge discussion point yeah. for our customers. You know, the customers say, well, what are the what are the? It's a journey. Right. Uh, for a lot of our customers, be they small customers going to large customers, um, as a journey. Mm -hmm. um, customers moving from, you know, how do I how do I leverage the the best elements of the cloud? So they're coming to Dell, and it's that trusted advisor um, that we're really you know working on uh, across services, across the platforms themselves, but also, you know. Um, you know, to shoot the breeze with our customers. Some oh. some of the suppliers are trying to deliver cloud in a box, right? So they they've got a okay. Here's our here's your here's your thousand seat cloud. Here's your five thousand seat seat cloud. And so what's Dell's response yeah. to that? Yeah, I, I, I think that's a that's a that's a great question. I think cloud is still evolving, and, and what we see it as 
Um, you know, it, it, it's this journey, it's a journey across. I think the first step for a lot of the smaller customers is a lot of them haven't virtualized yet. So realistically, to get to a cloud infrastructure, be it on-premise, off-premise, um, whole hybrid, really the first step is to virtualize your server platforms and uh, server applications and then your storage applications because there's a lot of similarities um, in, in a cloud environment uh, compared to, you know, to a virtualized environment. Um, putting it in a box, by definition, that's, that's a constraint. That's not part of our DNA. Uh, that, <laughs> yeah, if, 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 if you, if constraining customers and putting them all... You, you are sort of build to order, right? Yeah. Well, 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 I think, I mean, I think it's so. build to order, configure to order. Um, but but I, I think, you know, by definition, that, that really does constrain customers. Okay. And we've got customers on, once again, this continuum. I, I met customers who only have clients in their premises. They have no servers, no storage. Hmm. You go to the next guy and they say, well, there's, there's no way that I'm going to let my data off my premise. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. right? Um, you know, clearly security is is always an ongoing uh, concern with our customers. Um, but you know, on the, on, the, on the security side, I'm curious because yeah. this we has come up. Yeah. This before. <laughs> Security's come up a lot yeah. in the context of public cloud, right. use, using public clouds. Right. What um, do, you, do you have some strong partnerships in the security area? Well, we just acquired or? a company called SecureWorks. Okay, ah. talk, so yeah. talk about Secure. that. So, so SecureWorks Works. really is is. Um, an assessment. So what SecureWorks will do is they'll go and do an assessment of that customer's infrastructure to see you know, how, how robust um, their, uh, their secure, security infrastructure is. Okay. So yeah. SecureWorks does assessment services? It's a services organization. How, how big was the company? Um, I, I don't, I okay. don't remember That's the specifics, okay. but you know, uh, you know, <laughs> right. we've got a lot of acquisitions. You, and how much did you pay for it exactly? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can't discuss that. They signed the deal. Uh, but, but I think, you know, it's interesting listening, talking to the customers, you know, they're saying, wow, we're starting to see a lot of the acquisitions you've made over the last 18 months kind of gelling together. There really is a lot of, a lot of thought process behind why are we acquiring one of the companies we, we recently acquired called Boomi. Yes, yes. All right. So you talk about cloud. So talk about Boomi. So Boomi, what, what Boomi does, one of the challenges for our customers when you move from a, a traditional on-premise application yeah. environment when you move to cloud, your applications actually have to move to the cloud. And a lot of applications have to talk to each other. What Boomi does is sets up a wizard type environment. So if you have salesforce.com, yep. and you, 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 you've got a legacy database, yep. and you want to populate that, so there's a linkage obviously between salesforce.com and right. that database. So you write to the APIs and... Yeah, so uh, what Boomi does is they've done all that. They've done all that. For, the for the most popular applications. So okay. it, it reduces that time to move to the cloud. So once again, you know, we have a specific okay. cloud strategy. Um, the, and Boomi plays, well, Boom will play a key part. They're the leader, you know, they're top of the quadrant, whatever, whichever dynamic you want to say in terms yeah. of, you know, innovation and... That would be and, the Gartner magic quadrant the, the thing. Thought, right. The yeah. thought yeah. leadership yeah. piece. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but Boomi, you know, once again, helps facilitate customers move moving to the cloud. And they can do it also for legacy applications. So yeah, and they can help for both public cloud and private yes, cloud. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Private cloud but well, private cloud but is, is, is still a cloud but it's internally. So you still have the same challenges. Okay. You know, as you move your applications from you know, traditional applications to... So I'm on, SA, so I'm, I'm on SAP. SAP and I want to go, go to Salesforce because yeah. I want my I want that in the cloud. Yes. It does the integration Boom, for Boom that. can help you do that integration. Okay. Um, I've got my email on Exchange yeah. and I want to move to... Where do I want to go? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you might, you might want to go to a cloud-based uh, you know, yeah. uh, Office 365 when that comes out. Okay. okay. So, you know, then those applications. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's public. So yeah. that's oh, not. That's, okay. so, 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 so they're, they're more public, but it's really more for the legacy applications. So okay. the older applications that are, you know, even proprietary applications. You know, we can help those customers accelerate okay. that deployment into these new, new, new applications. But how how does that really take away the security risk? Um, it doesn't take away the security risk per se, because obviously you have to do that in conjunction with the SecureWorks um, team. So right. you know, it, it's. Yeah, you know, security is, is there's many, many many facets. There's the physical security, yep. there's the firewall, mm-hmm. um, there's you know how you do your client management, which also ties into what we do at Case. Yeah. So the Case acquisition helps with the client um, the client uh, management. Okay. So making sure that the the the, the portable devices um, are secure. 
Yeah. They have the right patches, um, firmware releases. Um, so, you know, we, we, the case uh, is, a, is a device that sits inside um, the environment. It's so a physical device? It's a, it's a physical device. Okay. It's also a virtual version. Okay. Um, but that's, a, that's really a client um, deployment. So if you want to deploy a whole bunch of laptops with a consistent image, that will help facilitate that. I see. Okay. Now, the great thing about these, you know, these, this IP that we have, mm -hmm. we can scale that down. So you'll see over time, smaller case devices. So, you know, having, and if you, if you peel back the onion on a lot of our acquisitions, a lot of it's software. Right. You know, case is basically a software acquisition, boomy software. If you peel back the onion on, on, the, other, on the other acquisitions, SecureWorks is a service. Um, so, so that we're building a lot of skills in core software capabilities yeah. that we've never had before. What other plays do you see on the services side? On the services side, um, it's, it's a, we, we have a very strong, um, what we call attached business to our physical. So if you buy a Dell laptop or a Dell server or Dell storage, we have very strong pro support capabilities, um, even beyond what our, comp our competition has. So we'll expand our support um, beyond just the physical device to the software and, 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 and the applications. Um, Clearly, consulting is also a huge opportunity for us with Perot. We want another, another yeah, so talk about Perot. Perot. Yeah, we'd, we'd yeah. love to hear a little yeah. bit about that. So, so I'm not an expert on Perot, but Perot. Uh, yeah. that, 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 but, that makes but, two of us. So. But, but clearly, Perot, you know, okay. they're, 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 you know, they're very strong. They're, they're historically, has been very strong in medical um, yep. environments. So we have a huge medical practice globally, um, and tied that to you know very capable platforms. So Perot also has uh, a lot of consulting capabilities beyond just medical. So you know we're looking at you know SAP, we're looking at Exchange. We have a very strong Exchange practice. Um, same with uh, uh, SharePoint. Yep. So you know, I, and what we're doing with with Perot is leveraging a lot of those um, core repeatable skills outside of the U.S. So you know, mm -hmm. making investments in in uh, Asia Pacific and also in EMEA. Oh really? Um, okay. Pro is still fairly U.S. centric. But you know we're we're spreading that and a you know, huge investment from Dell to make those services. It was available. a big investment. It's, <laughs> a, it's, it's been a very successful investment for us in terms of you know just enhancing reputation. That's one of the things that that, that you know can't underestimate the importance of acquisitions like Compel. It just gives us that credibility. You know, so many customers I've met, you know, hadn't really considered us, right? Even though we were reselling EMC. They didn't really see us as a, a true storage vendor, mm -hmm. as true, a true storage partner. Right. You know, it, it's it's all around um, you know that enterprise credibility, and we've got it. I'm um, so we're winning you know every day of the week against the best in the industry. Did you yeah. use it? You actually have you uh, actually stopped reselling EMC today? Or? No, no. We're no, still, we're, still, we're we're still, still do some. Yeah, we still sell some. It's more if a customer begs. If the customer, <laughs> well, not begs. <laughs> no, the no, no, I understand. No. I understand. Like, Here's a list of things you like, have to do yeah. in order to get it. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, we, 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 but we, it's difficult. But migration from one platform yeah. to another is difficult. Yeah. And well, it certainly sure. is difficult if you're an EMC customer, um, and, and that's a forklift. Get the forklift upgrade out, and, and, and right. you know, that's one of the hallmarks we have across the Ecologic platforms and our Compellent platforms is, you know, in fact, one of the challenges we have with the Compellent team, going back to our financing organization, is how do you do a 10-year lease on IKEA equipment? Uh huh. Because potentially there's no reason to say that that platform couldn't still be, right. you know, in still 10 be. years' time, still be upgradable and changeable. So, right. Um, but no, the EMC, on the EMC piece, clearly, if the customer's made that investment in EMC and wants to buy that platform from Dell, we'll have that discussion with them, but at the same time, we'll say, hey, let's also work out yeah. a migration strategy um, to get you off that platform onto, so, onto Dell Storage. So have you been building out a set of migration services? Yes. Or are your partners doing that? How's yeah. that working? Well, uh, Compellent has inherent in the platform a very simple data migration service. But there's more to it than just a, a simple data migration service. It really depends on what you're migrating to and from. Mm -hmm. um, but we, yeah, we have Dell offers a service for data migration. Okay. Uh, we also offer the same for, for Equalogic as those customers move um, move off older, older legacy data storage systems. You roll a lot of software into the bundle. So do you Correct. roll services into the bundle too? Or is I mean, that a, a add-on? Service. So, so the data migration service is, is typically an add-on, depending on how much data they want to migrate, and yeah. also looking at the assessment. Most of the services are your traditional break-fix type services that, yeah. are, that are standard on the platform. Right. Um, and then we have mission critical services to complement that, depending on, once again, whether the customer needs you know, two-hour response time. 
uh, right. depending on, on the mission criticality of his, of his environment. So, you know, across the spectrum, you know, we have services from, you know, simple brake fix right through to, you know, complete outsourcing. Um, and we want to expand all of those those capabilities uh, and also working with our partners to make sure that, you know, they can extend those services to the customers as well. So let's switch gears here sure. a little bit, unless you want to keep on that track. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's talk about mobile. Yep. Like how how is that affecting one your customers? Yeah. Um. This one that keeps going off. <laughs> no, this is one of the Dell. Oh, nice. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Venue, Venue Pro. <laughs> Let's see. It. Oh, they're yeah. giving away a Dell Streak. Yeah, they here are. at the conference. They are. To everyone? No. Oh. So, so to you though, John. No. Because I need an upgrade. <laughs> this is a Windows Seven. Um, this is the Dell okay. Venue Pro, and we also have the Dell Venue, which, which is uh, Android version. Okay, you have an Android and a Windows. Yes. Okay, so your mm -hmm. choice. Um, no question. These things are really changing um, the whole, a lot of the dynamics in, in, in the way people run their business. Right. It's a, it's a challenge for our customers, and as my oh, wife and you're getting me. your wife and is calling you. Nice. Uh, <laughs> I, I, won't, I won't answer that. <laughs> uh, she doesn't want to be on TV, but um, uh, no, no question. Uh, you know, these mobile devices, be they smartphones, mm -hmm. tablets. Um, laptops still a, a very a very significant business uh, for, for, for us. Um, it causes a lot of headaches for our customers as well because they have to manage these dis disparate devices yeah. um, and, and trying to get making sure that that discipline there is to make sure you patch these things because these things now you're starting to see